Hey there, Swartz fans. Rubo here for Carvel Gaming. Uh, it's just past midnight, so... Still wearing the same clothes, but... Uh, I've just been given it a new daily, and uh, would you believe it? Um, I went and hit the jackpot with total dominance, so... There's another easy 100 gold, right? <laughs> just to make you all mad, I've had that at least three times in the last 30 days. It's been very good for me. Oh, mage and pally. And hunter. I guess we have to go back and play some mage since we've uh, played a fair bit of pally the last couple of days. Uh, <laughs> Cold Light Oracle, pretty unplayable. Ancient Watcher, pretty unplayable. Stampede and Cobra, quite good, quite good. Hunter or Grizzly? The taunt might be important here. We can't rule out the Squire. I mean, if I had like three Dark Iron Dwarfs already in this draft, I, I might actually take that Squire. I think the Grizzly's pretty cool. Uh, obviously, we take the Water Elemental. Like, both of these cards are absolutely fine, but the Water Elemental's straight up crazy good. Nice easy two drop there, Sorcerer's Apprentice, very good card. Is there any argument here? It's gotta be the Fen Creeper. Like can we justify arcane missiles? We just it's just too random to be any good at all. There's a slight argument for Toran Warrior, because we can ping it and beat something up, but I take the Mad Bomber there. Oh. Again, Worgen's pretty insane. Um, but I think we need a Frostbolt. Oh, I think we need a Flame Strike. Yep, two pretty average, well, weak cards and an Armani Berserker. So the choice here is between some Fury Protector, which is just, you know, a 2-3, or the Imp Master. If we take the Protector, there's a risk we end up with too many 2-drops. So we're going to go with the Imp Master there. Um, Brewmaster is certainly worth considering. Very aggressive card. And um, quite possibly quite good in a deck like this. The Ogre is also extremely solid and worth considering. Yeah, I think we go with the Ogre here. Earthen Ring Farce here. And another Water Elemental, of course. Never going to turn down Water Elementals when they're on offer. It's like being a Berserker. Uh, it's a lot better in the Mage deck than anything else, because obviously you can ping them. And obviously Defender of Argus as well here. Abomination's also actually pretty good for Mages, um, who have like slightly slower decks, of course. Not for me, I like very aggressive decks. Uh, no Fireballs, no... Polymorphs yet, so we're going to have to rely on this uh, Frostbolt a little bit more at the moment. Could go with an Abusive Sergeant because we have got an Imp Master, you know, Whipple 1 3. I think Flesh Eating Ghoul is so fine in this kind of deck. Yep, only really one choice here with the Raptor. <laughs> I have some I have some poor cards being being offered to me there. Guess another raptor. Like, that's enough two drops. Give me something else. So we, we just need a few bigger cards now to finish this deck off. A second flame strike as well also helps. So we just go 
Let's take some big guys now. Brewmaster, Warlord, Brewmaster, Warlord. Warlord has a really good chance to be huge with these two Imp Masters. So, you know, we'll, we'll go with that. Okay, Footman, Shield Bearer. So we have to take the third card, no matter what it is, and it's an Abusive Sergeant. <laughs> and here's another Abusive Sergeant. When one isn't enough. I'm normally happy with like five to six two drops, and we're just about that. Oh, a third flame strike! Absolutely, I think that's a perfect amount of flame strikes there. Another flesh-eating ghoul. Maybe we just go with the loot hoarder. Yeah, Flesh Eating Ghoul's very nice with the Imp Masters, though. It's tough to say, that one really is quite tough to say. Now, yeah, stick to the loot order. Well, these two are pretty unplayable, so I guess we're playing Arcane Intellects. And to finish this deck off, well, we don't have anything in the six mana. Sunwalkers. So three flame strikes, which means we have a good chance of doing well. Uh, would have liked maybe another silence. We got like a, did I pick up a polymer? Did I pass it for the flame strike? I think I passed it. So might struggle against uh, a bomb hammer. that we'd like to you silence. Like, we've got enough two drops here that I was really expecting to get one, so. And I'm glad it's a 2 3 as well, so, uh, Stormforged Axe. Is it gonna get me in too much trouble? And this is a really good card to play out turn one as well. Especially because, like, he can put a 2-3 out, and I can just ping it anyway to finish it off, so it still kind of trades. Um, so it's a very awkward card for him. And he just has to pass the turn. And of course, Amani Berserker threatens to <laughs> absolutely crush him under damage. He's like, oh, I'm taking nine next turn. I am not a morning person. Who you want me So he has to have Lightning Storm this turn, or he's just lost the game. Right, how can he come back if he doesn't have Lightning Storm? Okay. You play your Alarmo box. I mean, we might as well take it out. <laughs> this is going to be looking like a 10 10 Frostwolf Warlord here. He's just done nothing. He's done absolutely nothing in this game. You have to play stuff. An Oasis Snapjaw. I can't do that. Sever my Who you want me to <laughs> And uh Yeah. There we go. Go It's my army of big guys against your two seven. 
The reason we're still playing here? He wants to deal me damage. I want to hit him! Your magic shall not save me. Congrats, it's only a 4 4. <laughs> Shields up! Okay, you know, hit me, put me to 28. Consider it your victory. Come on, man, you can do it! It doesn't matter what you do. It really doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> it really does not matter. <laughs> Thinking for two hours when he's, like, dead on board. <laughs> Suffer my wrath! Dead on board. <laughs> Why are you thinking it through? <laughs> so, like, the crazy, crazy fast uh, game there. Really, only a fast game because my opponent actually didn't do anything. Uh, those are the easiest games, the ones where your opponent just takes everything that costs six mana. So, oh, this costs six mana, I'll take this card as well, then then, then wonder why they lose so quickly. Oof. So we just need 11 more opponents like that. I don't think it's going to happen. But <laughs> Obviously, happy to go first. Not so happy to get a flame strike in my opening hand. And then have it be replaced by a bold of his ogre. Do you know his wife's called the Smolder Fist Ogre? Quite the looker, apparently. Put this apple on your head. So, like, we could play a loot order here. But then there's a 50 50 chance he makes a minion and, like, uh, kills the loot hoarder. But I, I, I think we still have to do it, right? The other option is just to ping it, but then I'm like, he just heals it up. So, that's like, even worse. Well, yeah. Won't have it any other In way. The light's name. So he's going for a fast deck, um, so I'll put the 3-3 out there, which is like just a more immediate body than maybe an Imp Master is. Kinda sucks that I just gave him two power, doesn't it? Completely overlook that. And a misplay from him. He shouldn't have let me kill his knife juggler. Of course. That's just made, you know, the game a lot easier for me. But yeah, that was a pretty savage misplay. Like, you just don't see Light Warden ever, so you completely forget what the card actually does. Okay, I guess like that's pretty cool. Uh, a bit too slow, but my seal for Argon. Certainly does stall him for at least a turn. But yeah, I lost this uh, game from the opening hand. Oh, and yeah, it makes the deck even more ridiculous. Yeah, 
bit with that. Again, too slow a hand, and like Imp Masters, they just don't have anything. Like one misplay from me. Uh, forgetting that that guy heals up, but I don't think it would have mattered there. Like everything I drew was just really weak. Um, I mean, I had, like, there's plenty of two drops in this deck. There's plenty of cards here that would have helped me out. Um, just, like, where were they? Like, even the water elementals would have been really good on turn four as well. Now, it just happens sometimes. You get a bad draw and you lose. And there's nothing you can do about it. And your opponent gets, like, the best possible draw. And then you make a slight error as well. But, like, who plays Light Warden? I guess priests do. So if I'd made, like, a 2-3 on turn 1, he couldn't have shot it, and I could have killed it, and the game would have played out completely differently. So, like, a lot of people don't understand about tempo. They're like, yeah, Loot Horde is really good. It's like, no, it's not. It's not really good. Because sometimes you just can't afford for it to be a 2-1. You know, if that's a 2-3, I'm still in the game. I'm taking, like, 10 less damage from a Light Warden or something like that. So it does, does make you think. I'm going to lead out with it though in case he's got a Stormforged Axe or something. Second Flame Strike. So since I've got two Flame Strikes, I'm just going to play really defensively because the longer the game goes on, like the more. I'm just going to be in control here. likes the little guys. That's, that's not a bad defender of Argus. Yeah, I mean, we are going second as well, so I think playing defensive is absolutely fine. Let him play the stuff out first, and then hopefully we can flame strike. In the turn after the flame strike, he might just dump all these guys out, not expecting the second flame strike. So I'm going to put the imp master on the left so that the imp's here. And maybe we can put like Defender of Argus between the two one and this little one one imp. Maybe if he's just passing the turn, I'll play a stampeding coach. <laughs> Obviously not throwing out a Mad Bomber just to eat my own board up. But he now has to put guys out. He has to go like, guy, guy, really, to stop me from beating him up and I can just flame strike for a few turns. 
Especially with this Sunwalker. Like, if, if he doesn't make... If he makes, like, a guy this turn and put the Sunwalker out there, just really pressure him into having to dump his hand onto the table. And I can do that this turn because the flame strike will finish off the war golem. That's fine. Right? Yeah, of course. Of course it'll hit everything for three. I like, don't bother leaving me with two minions. Of course the twenty-five percent chance of you hitting all my guys will happen. This game is utterly ridiculous. And it still manages to hit me with four targets as well and hit him once. So absolutely crazy turn that was. I feel now's like the best time for the mirror entity. There's no real good time for ever playing it. Loads of people can easily play around it. As you can see. But he now has like quite a few minions out here. So if he goes for it, like assuming I don't have a flame strike. The frost wolves stand ready. Yep, so he's gonna walk right on into it. I was him I would have, you know, still traded off the minions there so you don't get savaged. Hmm. What to do? The only reason he got back into this game was that lightning storm hitting but all of my guys for three damage. If one of my guys survives there, it gets the trade off and that prevents like Seven damage, eight damage off the war golem. Need something next turn. The frost wolf stand ready. Oh, you want me? Well played. Well played. To North Red. And must be nice, so perfect hand well. for him. Nothing much we can do there. Lose. All because if you hit both my guys for three. That's pretty sick. All came down to that lightning storm. And then he got two perfect draws afterwards. So, tough break there. But, you know, it happens sometimes. We were going second as well. So, I think if we go first we win that one quite comfortably. This is definitely not like a war one three day. Uh, the Imp Master is a little bit on the weak side.
Uh, I guess we'll go with it. You shall not pass. <laughs> it will bear it. Like, stop it. Stop playing these cards. You're embarrassing me. I'm glad you managed to hit it once. So I don't have to fight past it for, like, th two turns. Okay, so this is indeed a free win. Shield Bearer and Cold Light Oracle. You're set about beating him up and getting on to the next game here. I wonder. Do you need a blessing? It's a young priestess. And then he goes and attacks anyway. <laughs> Surely you just pass the turn and let your guy have one extra toughness. Like attacking doesn't achieve anything there. You need some incredible cards to get in this game, and uh, Shield Bear and Cold Light, o Cold Light Oracle aren't the ones. It's a little bit better. Bit of a shame for him I've got a fireball, but... So many possibilities, none of them good ones. So let's life that. Because if it wasn't dead on eight life, uh, I'm definitely going to be dead now. Yeah, it's not looking any better, is it? Summoning portal as well, another quality card. I guess he just wanted me to show. Well, just wanted to show me. He wanted to show me how big it was. So, uh, won a couple of really easy games and lost one brutally and one purely down to RNG. 
Like, I really feel I'm Lightning doing. Storm you should the do the same damage across victory. the board. You asked for it. Is there a reason to get rid of any of these? If there is, I'm not seeing it. And my opponent's thrown all of his away. But he does have a play. I guess we go with the Berserker, because he's... ...can't... Um, ...smite it. And he definitely wants to kill it. I mean, you know, you can still Shadow Word, Pain, like, whichever one I play, but... Like, he doesn't want me pinging it and hitting, it, hitting him for five or so. I wonder... Oh, and he didn't even have a play himself. It's quite nice. Maybe we do ping it and hit him for five. Nah. Who you want me kill? More than happy to, you know, swing back there. Especially given I've got a defender of Argus here that can take out the 3 2. There is the smite. I was correct about that. My seal for Argus! And this was the situation I was hoping for. And now he's like, ah. It's pretty harsh. And that's cost him an entire turn to do that. And even Holy Nova still leaves him like way behind on the board. Still way behind on the board, still just beating you up. play a minion at some point. <laughs> he's, he's, he's made like one card in his entire deck. I don't think we try to get any value out of this card. We just, we just lob it down there. Into the breach! We can definitely get a little bit of value out of this abusive sergeant. Because we're only doing like one extra damage by throwing it out on the same turn. Um, and we, like we lose the important battle cry effect there. So if he makes like a 4-4 four, four or something like that, I'd rather use it against two weapons. Summoning portal open. <laughs> like this seems a really good turn for me. these off just to make this even bigger. Also, you know, just helps me out not playing into a holy nova a little bit. Into the breach! Well played. Is that 
everything in these decks just so expensive. Sure, you know, I could have pinged my 2-7, but it probably has, like, another shadow word, death. <laughs> you could say, you know, if you had shadow word pain, he'd have played it on this 3-5. Yes. Oh, there we go, he's finally played some minions out. It's a bit scary. This is where he has three mind controls now, one after the next. Because this first mind control is actually pretty good, like taking the 3 6. For not nope! Time. Awesome! You, you go get him with your mind blasts. Yeah! That's why his deck's terrible. He's playing lots of mind blasts. <laughs> he, he should have healed himself up, he would have still been alive. But he just wanted to go, yeah, I hit you with mind blast, yeah, I got you down to 17 or whatever. I don't feel completely useless now. Mind Blast is really bad, and you should never draft it in Arena. But you all know that already. You don't need me to tell you that. So, just another four Jane wins in a row to go. And, uh, might be a little bit harder now against Pallet. You asked for it. And going second as well. I think we actually keep the Kodo, because that's going to help us get back into this game. The Water Elemental's also a nice card here. So, still looks like probably coin into Crocolisk. Play the Loot Hoarder turn two. Unless he does something ridiculous. I don't see any reason for saving the coins here. Obviously we don't coin into this, because he might just play it like a Light's Justice and kill it. And we need to do this so he doesn't get a foothold. Uh, with an Argent Protector, like if he plays the first minion, then he gets to put a bubble on it and beat up my first minion. Reporting for two now some people might ping the 1-1, one one. I wouldn't here. Just beat up the 1-1. One one. Play another minion. Because it's another turn before he can Consecrate. Definitely feels like a concentrate. So, uh, I think we hold back on the minions this turn. We just say to him, you know, if you gotta consecrate, you got one. But I'm not gonna give him three of my cards. I mean, I could have gone with the loot order. Class. How lucky! <laughs> Just the perfect card to be drawing there, right? Or do we just just beat this up with these two and play Water Elemental? 
Like, that's probably also absolutely fine. Or do we hit him for seven? I mean, what what can you do? I mean, you can still kill both of these, but they're, they're too big to be consecrated. And then he attacks one of them. It was like three damage, has like mm. two toughness left on it. Oh, yeah, water elementals, just straight up better. We take it out so that he doesn't get to consecrate, make a 1 1, kill these two guys, and then uh, attack this. Get it really low. Reporting for duty. Not on my watch. A little bit worried about attacking this and then playing the Stampede in Kodo. Mm -hmm. Because it'll have four toughness and he can take it out with his weapon. And I kind of want to freeze him so he can never play a weapon. But if I do that, then there's a 50 50 chance I kill the wrong thing here and he gets to put like Blessing of Kings on his dude. But even if he does that, it's still only 5 mm. 5. I really want to freeze him, but at the same time. Yeah, I think we just. I think we just. Do it right. we get the card advantage. I just hope he doesn't have a true silver champion. I mean, it does freeze him for a turn if he does have it anyway, so he doesn't get to put that second attack in yet. There's, there's another card that does the same thing in an equally annoying way. Not really any great plays here. Someday I'll be just like you. My shield for Argus. Yeah, it was probably the best of them. You know, puts arcane intellect down to a reasonable price. Improves the board position. The light protects me. Into the bridge! So we've got commanding board position, even a consecrate leaves me with like a 7-3. He still refuses <laughs> to play lots of small guys. So we're we taking the shield off with a 2-1 here. Thanks for the hammer of wrath on the other guy. <laughs> Nine. The victory. Yeah. He's like, yep, I'm just taking 15 next turn off those two minions. Harsh. Very, very harsh. So, um, he went first, but 
I just got the tempo and never let him get it back. Played a little bit conservatively around Consecrate, but he didn't have it. Or he drew it at a time when it was no use to him at the end there. Definitely, you know, expecting a few wins with this deck. It is pretty good. But sometimes if you, you just go second or whatever, it's like, yeah, you just go, yeah, I'm getting crushed here. And there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, we can work with this. This is good. So again, definitely coining turn one here. Wow, even better. It's time for a little blood. took the fairy dragon out right. Margin protector to the rescue. Nope. Nice. I love the fact that he was considering attacking the 2-1. <laughs> oh, and a raid leader. So I'm doing this because of the Defender of Argus. Like, I, I want to buff two minions here. Um, but we do get to put Water Elemental onto this board. Which is pretty cool. I guess we just frostbolt this out of the way. Can't see any reason not to. And uh, ping this in case he turns it into a 6-6 six, six or a 6-7. You know, uh, the blessing of kings. That allows me to at least kill it. I hope you like my invention. So I have all three flame strikes here, so he might not attack this turn because he doesn't want to lose a four-two. He might just dump a, a bunch of little guys out right into this flame strike. But the fact that I get to go flame strike, flame strike, flame strike against Pally. I wonder. It's not great for him. There's like no good decisions unless he has like a Let pump spell. Think. Unless he can get his 4 2 up to a 5 3 or something with a Shattered Sun Cleric. You know, this 4 5 is threatening. threatening. I must move quickly. The 3 for 1, yeah, this flame strike's going to crush him. So he's not going to attack this turn. And I get to flame strike and uh, laugh. Not on my watch. 
reporting for duty. Flame strike again. We'll just make flesh eating go. Well met. You could ping this, fireball it. Well met. Or we just make a storm wind champion. And he's pretty much out of gas now, so these next two flame strikes just brutalize him really. Squire, attend me. <laughs> Absolutely brutalizes Ready, him now. Reporting for duty. Secret. Reporting for duty. What do we think this secret is? Behold the might of storm wind. <gasps> oh no, it's repentance. <laughs> Obviously, I was playing around noble sacrifice there. Put this apple on your head. And now he's going to lose his entire board again. Cool consecration. Very cool. Reporting for two. This has got to be a good card. It's got to be an Alex Straza esque quality card here. And that doesn't do it. Yeah, you hit me for three. Concede. Reporting for duty. The victory. Good choice. Good choice in the concede button. Uh, 
Turns out when you play three flame strikes, uh, you do quite well. Who would have guessed? Like, the deck's not really turning the screw on people. Um, I think the, like, the four drops are a little bit on the weak side. You know, needed a, a Dark Iron Dwarf or, you know, Jane. Yeti, something like that. Ooh, no. Another Pally. I will Pally Knight. You asked for it. And we're going second again. Sad times. Not sure even the farce is good enough. We need some two drops. Yeah, because this is the risk. You get four, five, and six. Like, if I keep that farce here and don't get this loot order. Wow, this is, this is brutally slow. <laughs> My opponent's got a fast start. I'm just dead. Like, this is loss number three, and there's nothing I can do Put about the it. On your head. And there's the knife juggler start again. This is ridiculous. But it's uh, not a priest doing it this time. Like, if I get a slow start, <laughs> you damn well sure going to have your opponent play a knife juggle on you. Yeah, if he plays Argent Protector here, I've lost. I just have to hope he has nothing. I wonder... Not Why do you spend 40 seconds making the best possible play you could make? Wow, and then he hits me. What is he doing? Does he not understand what mages do? Oh, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Such a bad play. You just had, you had me dead if you attack my guy there. You had me straight up dead. There was no way for me to get back in this game. And, and you would you bubble it up and attack me? What are these people doing? Just can't understand that at all. Really cannot understand that. I guess I just have to stay defensive here, right? Hey, give me that! Like, I'd like to play this water elemental out. Oh. Yeah, definitely. I think just pinging a 3-1 and getting off the board is better. Wow. So he's focusing on just dealing damage to me. And screwing up the board position. The thing is, like, by having a good board position, you get to do even more damage to your opponent. And he consecrates for one minion. <laughs> Consecrates one tiny little minion away. Excuse me while I have a cough. There he is, there's the bad boy. Oh, I feel another a sneeze coming on now. I don't think he realizes. Uh, he, oh, it doesn't matter which one he does, whether he, you know. But he's not getting he's not getting another attack in as soon as he's done that. He's gonna be locked down. Reporting for duty. My seal for Argon! So, feeling a lot happier now. Uh, I think my opponent made a lot of misplays this game. Yeah. Like, really, really, really a lot of misplays. Reporting for duty. Flash eating you all, really? It's just not big enough. The Frost Wolves stand ready! The 
So I'm going to try and, you know, keep him on lockdown <laughs> as much as possible. Keep him on ice, I should have said that. That would have been the, the puntastic thing to say there, but I wasn't smart enough thinking that one up in time. And the moment's passed now. The moment's gone, Let never to come think. back. And you'll always know me as that guy who's a little bit too slow when it comes to being funny. And now he's frozen as well. <laughs> Everything is frozen. <laughs> so I won't be seeing him again for a couple of turns. Yep. It's all your own fault. You have nobody to blame but yourself for the situation you find yourself in now. Yeah, that's pretty useless as well. Another consecration. Nice. I mean, it kills nothing, but it makes you happy. I have my own version of consecration. It's much bigger, however. So you're dead here. 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Aww. Oh. He's not dead. Well, I mean, he is dead. He's just dead a turn slower. He's there with his weapon. Like, that's gonna be his sort of grave. Frozen in place. 6, 10, 12, 15. Yeah, he's dead. Awesome. Unless he's got a humility. No. Oh, all that. Right. That also keeps him alive for a turn. <laughs> right, how rude. Behold the might of Stormwind! So did we lose our 3 2? Just to. Uh, Play around this card, like I guess we do. Into the breach. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> I'm shocked. However, you're still staying for a Water elemental is ridiculous. Four mana for a three six with just the most incredible ability. Like, for me, Let me this see. is the card that should get a nerf. <laughs> it should be like a 3-4 four for 4. Maybe 4-4 four, four for 4 is okay, but just like, that's just ridiculous. And now you're dead. Thank you. Gain eight life. No, another secret. <laughs> yeah, you're just dead, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're so sneaky. He's trying to put the divine protection on himself there. And uh, he dies in an icy tomb. Just like the Lich King. Frozen. Sword in hand, like this going. <coughs> Love me some water elemental. Uh, he had me beaten. He had me beaten, and then he just started attacking me for no reason. <laughs> I was like, okay, thanks. Could have killed me if you'd just beaten up my guys, but... Meh. I'll take the, the free win. Another pally. I will fight with honor. You asked for it. Goddamn pallies. We're gonna keep the master because we've got nothing else. Yay! This is fine. As long as my opponent doesn't have the argument protect to start. Well met. Hello. Oh, and he doesn't, so... <laughs> we are good to go.
You can't be happy about this one. Harvest Golem. Seems fine. Now we could take a risk with the Grizzly. Because um, obviously there's a, a ton of stuff he can do next turn. And it would be efficient use of our mana. Like pinging this and trading off would be like quite bad for us. So we just have to go. You know, if you got a shout out cleric, well played. Like I don't mind the Argent Protector so much because it doesn't enrage the Grizzly, uh, the Worgen. He like he still kills my guy, but not on my like it doesn't enrage his. So like that's all he can do, and then I get to beat up his tutu. And the question is now whether we fireball that big guy or we play the crocolisk and then damage this for one. If you damage it for one, he can't take out both of these. Like, is fireball like a fireball here? But at the same time, like if we make this crocolisk, there's potentially a couple of things bad that could happen. Like the fireball seems the safe bet. I wonder. Because this 5-1 by itself is extremely, you know, threatening. <laughs> yeah, he has to make that. Guess we just mirror entity here, since if he makes something small, doesn't really affect us. But if he makes something you big, you know, I'd kind of like to have a copy of it. And it does stop him from playing something big out this turn. Hey, look at that. It's another Worgen. How lucky! Get in there! Good time for a warlord or imp master ping the one one. I think imp master ping the one one have an even bigger warlord next turn. Not a morning person. <laughs> so we're starting to run out of a little bit of gas. But we got an arcane intellect to give us a little bit back, and we still got these three flame strikes somewhere in my deck. And he's just happened to have like cards which are just particularly really good. Like there's another true silver champion. It's like yeah, it turns out they're pretty amazing. Turns out that card's pretty amazing as well, but I think the Warlord takes priority here. Does it? It doesn't, does it? No. A, surely Water Elementals. I, I do get Consecrated though afterwards, even if he does. Mm. That, that is a tough one. I mean, this is better use of the mana. The Frost Wolves stand ready! You can, of course, you know, uh, if he's got a silence, I'd rather have him silence the warlord back down to 4 4 than silence the water elemental. Yeah, is fine. Yeah, 
one makes another one. Reporting for duty. So he's got all this card advantage from, you know, his two swords, which is you know, pretty understandable, really, because they're crazy good. Now I could have played the Imp Master and the Arcane Intellect, but Water Elemental is just better. Like, if he plays something ridiculous, at least I can freeze it for a turn and jump. Squire, attend me. Ready, well, sir. there's three Flame Strikes in my deck. They're in there somewhere. Now would be a really good time for one of them. Well, that's not one of them. Uh, but I guess we do set off the Mad Bomber. H how does it manage to do this to me? <laughs> Ooh, favors! Favors from the deck. Mad Bomber hits me twice with one, two, three, four, five, six targets out, hits me twice out of three Turn times. <sighs> I just have the absolute worst luck with that card. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. And there's another water elemental. this guy out? No, I think we keep that guy. We'll keep that guy around. He seems cool. Because he can't be Blessing of Kings. I mean, he can still be buffed in other ways, but... I think that helps me. Like, more than it helps him. Seems fine. Okay. Ooh, it's a flame strike. That's nice. Do we really do it this turn? I guess we have to. It's nice, nice that one of them showed up. Like bottom half of my deck, but at least it was there. Fashionably late, I suppose. Uh, I think we just take this guy out, right? I think we have much choice in the matter. You're so sneaky with your silences. I am the blade of the it's a pretty weak card, so. Shields up. Okay. Whatever you say. have a 5-4. I think we just sit here. Let him attack so he gets frozen. Oh, and that's game. Yep, can't win this one now. Come on, dude. I can't beat you. Not possible for me to win from here. 
Just beat my stuff up. That's it, that's it. Attack, come on. Attack, attack. That's it. There you go. Just realize where the attack button is. Everybody probably heavily suspects this is a flame strike. <laughs> he does have six cards left, so we could be a little bit coy, but no. Nah. Oh, you know, just for additional rooms. Yeah, sure. Why not? Reporting for duty. Oh, that's quite nice. That is quite nice indeed. I guess we're pinging it, right? Beat it up, dude. You've got four cards to my one. Just attack it. Get it off the board. Play some more cards out. It's, this game's really not hard. Throw your two guys at my guy. Kill my guy. Play your other cards in your hand. Like, it really doesn't matter what the four cards are. We must right, so you've got a cleric as well, and apparently this is taking... Hours for you to play you here. Be well, you got there eventually, didn't you? You know, it only took you an hour. Why are you doing that? <laughs> you just killed your guy for no reason. <laughs> why, why did you do that? Come on. Reporting for duty. Like, think things through here. Oh, loot order. Scary. No, just play the three cards in your hand, dude. I'm out of cards. Behold the might of storm awesome. Wind. That's ridiculous. Oh! Uh, that's favours. I guess we beat this guy up and hope for our last flame strike, right? Hey, get me there! Is my <laughs> He's there going, I have to run both of my guys in to kill that. I'm sure you've got an answer. Seven cards against three. I've got one flame strike still to go. Oh. You're so good at this game, aren't you? You're so good. So good at this game. All skill. Flame strike. Not a flame strike, so <laughs> we die. <laughs> well, like his deck was way superior. True silver champion. True silver champion. Yep, you win when you do stuff like that. We had a slight chance at the end, but wasn't to be. So, you know, six wins. It's okay. I mean, you could see again, like, the games are lost. When I go turn two, make a 2 1. Hmm. I was about to say, if this isn't gold, I'm going to be very angry. <laughs> but you always get some gold, right? This needs to be a really good card. It's not a really good card. It's like my seventh divine favor or something, right? Uh, I think I got one yesterday or something. I certainly got one very recently. <laughs> yes, and then my, my fifth divine favor. So, mm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for checking this video out. Um, you can see the shortcomings of this deck. Like, no polymorphs was the main shortcoming of this deck. You know, my opponent did something with Death Rattle, 
Oh, this did some big guy and I'm like... Really need some polymorphs. Um, like, polymorph is a card I'm happiest getting next to Flame Strike for Mage. Uh, like, Fireball isn't nearly as good. Like, if they go Tyrion and you've got a Fireball, you're like, yeah, they get a 5 3. Maybe you've got a Polymorph? Haha! -ha. So, you know, Polymorph for me is overall just a, like a much better situation. People say, ah, oh, but you know, Fireball, you can kill them. Six to the face. Generally, you're going to win those games anyway. Very few games are actually tight. Usually, games that involve one person sort of steamrolling and the other one gradually over and over again. Anyway, you know, that's kind of what Mage does. It always, always kind of gets up. And if I hadn't had those sort of two early losses, we, well, we definitely would have, I think, would have got to seven, maybe eight, nine wins. And the, the deck wasn't particularly powerful. I was just, you know, aggressive with the cards I had. And again, we had a, a couple of horrible misplays from opponents. You know, attacking me, like, just too soon. Especially with... Especially with that 3-1 with charge. It's like, you know it's going to die next turn when I ping it, so why not trade off? But no, they just got to get that 3 damage in. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking this video out. Sorry it wasn't 12 wins. We can't do 12 wins every day. Um, we can't do 12 wins with anything that's not Paladin, apparently. Although, yeah. I won't be able to do it with Warlock again now there's no Blood Imp, because I think that did come down to just having like Blood Imps in ridiculous situations. So I think, you know, uh, Pally all the way for me. <laughs> like, Mage is okay, but um, it's not ridiculous like Paladin. The funny thing is, I was on the official Hearthstone forums, and I found a couple of old posts, and there was one from about three and a half, four months ago, and it was this guy who was telling everyone, going, oh, you know, this is a really good guy, this one, oh, yes, yes, yes. And he'd ranked all the classes from one to nine in, you know, best to worst. And this was before a few of the nerfs, so, you know, things were slightly different. And he had Paladin as 8 of 9, because it is a predictable class and easy to play around. And I just feel like saying to him, how is it easy to play around three true silver champions? If you can answer that question, please, you know, there's the, there's the chat box, put it in there, because when my opponents there were beating me up and just going, oh, here's another true silver champion, oh, here's another true silver champion. You can't play around that card, it, it just smashes people in the faces. And that's why I like playing Paladin, because I like to be the guy with the true silver champions. So, <laughs> anyway, until next time, ta-da.